But this has torn through the heart of so many communities to make sure that this situation is being investigated fully. Guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Lua and um, this is a quick update. This is a follow up from my last video on the vicious and racially motivated attack on a 15 year old black girl in London. This happened um, on the 6th of February, one week ago today. And um, I came and gave a summary and showed bits of the attack. I also mentioned that if you have any news, there was a message from the chief inspector working on this. I'm pleading for the public to provide more information because this is an ongoing investigation which needed to be put together for a proper trial. Now, um, I know that since then, there's been a bit of an update and I just thought that I'll keep you guys up to date. So we knew already that five suspects had been charged with GBH as well as child neglect. But there's a bit more beef to the border. This has opened a can of worms. I've had some feedback to people write to me, talk about history within that area and the attackers as well are part of a minority group which within that area are generally feared. So that might be the reason why the public did not intervene, but that's beside the point. The update today, just to give you some more information is five of the suspects, so we had 10 and 11 year old who have been charged with GBH, racially motivated GBH, previous body harm, as well as a 16 year old and a 39 year old. And we believe 39 year old is the mother to the kids who attacked this black girl. As of now, and from the last updates, a 15 year old girl has not been found. She's aware she's wanted and she has been, her family's aware. But the main thing I wanted to say is they have been banned from the Surrey area. There has been a safeguarding issue. This is more news and the parents. So there's a 39 year old lady and I think a 43 year old man and who we believe are the parents of the kids. They have also been charged with assisting and encouraging the commission of an indictable only offense. What that means, in other words, is encouraging that act to happen in layman's terms. And um, so, yes, this is very consoling because a lot of people were quite aggravated that the mother was the one fueling the situation, gaslighting it, which is really the contrary, what you would expect. That's the first thing. It's good. And I think on Friday, this was discussed in the House of Parliament and um, the education secretary has to come back with more information the concerns about the school and just so you know the school decided to release a statement which i'll read by the way just hang on and to my opinion this statement is coming just a bit late so i'll read this this is from thomas nivet college and it's come from the, the principal mr richard beeson this before I read the statements, just so you're aware, there's been a petition which has had almost 150,000 signatories to sack and investigate the principal based on his approach to the attack, as well as the other staff who were involved and did not really act accordingly. So just bear that in mind before I read the statements out. It says, Dear parents and carers, you may be aware that one of our students was injured in a violent altercation outside of school yesterday as they were making their way home. We would like to reassure you that the police were called and are currently investigating. We understand from the police statement below that five arrests have been made in connection with this incident. We are supporting the police as they investigate the matter. If you have any information regarding this incident, please contact the police via the link provided, which I'll, I'll put in the description. We are aware that this incident will have caused concern among students and parents and carers. We can reassure you that we are taking all necessary steps to ensure, ensure this isolated incident is dealt with and the student's safety is our paramount concern if you have any questions contact the school yours sincerely r beeson now 
It's early days and this is still being investigated, but I've got a few comments. I have been told that this is not an isolated case, okay? And a lot has been generally known that there have been similar racial issues around this area and within the school. So it'll be interesting to see where the petition gets us to and how much digging the education secretary is ready to get her colleagues to do to make sure that the students in this institution are well looked after and the welfare paramount importance as the letter has said i'm here guys to give you guys all the updates but for now it's consoling to know that there have been charges five arrests been made and they're all currently on bail but the good thing is they have been banned from the Surrey area. So this young lady for now is safe and the kids have been taken from the parents' care because no parent, this woman doesn't didn't look like she was fit to be a parent. And another thing that just upset me when I did some more digging is the parents have every right to be so upset and the family of this young girl because when this incident happened, the school did not find the need to call the parents. She found her way home by herself with all the bruising, with the emotional torture, with the mental torture, went to a friend's place and then made the call. You can see from the pictures that they shared and I'll put some more on the screen to see how much hair she lost. She had, apparently she lost almost nine braids, bruises and swollen face and is dealing with the situation. But she was allowed to walk away despite how serious this was. If anything, that school really should go into a thorough investigation. And if I had my child there from an, a minority group, I don't even know what I'll say. But I'll leave it at that and I'll wait for further updates. Like always, thanks very much for you guys who've sent in more information and made me to do this video today. And if anything else comes up, please do the same. Let us know and I'll be here to share. And um, for those of you who've watched, thanks. And for the support, I'll see you in my next video. See you later. Thank you. And um, please like the video so that and share so that we make people more aware of what's happened and take the steps needed to avoid this from recurring. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.